Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gwent Challenger number four. My name is Matt. You might know me better as Flake. Speaking of S words, uh, it was a definitely a satisfying first day of Challenger, I have to say. Oh, awesome. Again, you know, you're playing like fire. And spe speaking of fire right now, uh, I have, have, I'm pretty sure the hairspray I have is flammable. So in case, you know, I don't want to make Twitch live, you know, live fails. So we're going to go kick back to Ash before I catch on fire. I don't know who's going to win. This is definitely going to be a very, very exciting match. Who do you think is going to win? Okay, he's uninterested. But when he flaps his wings, I guess that's like Skellige's version of air conditioning. It's fantastic. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to judge. <laughs> judge. No, we don't have that here. We don't here. have a judge. I want to ask you very, very important questions because, I mean, we'll be talking to you again tomorrow, so I don't want to burn all the cool stuff. Do you like my Han Solo socks? Anybody want to take it? Again, I will remind everybody that the lovely prize that we are playing for this week is, again, a 2018 absolutely nothing. It is loaded to the brim with luxury features, ladies and gentlemen, including GPS, Bluetooth, and all-wheel drive. You can get yours at where all nothings are sold. And right there, with the mana locked up, Niv Mizzet hits the board, but that finds the perfect opportunity to shock away that Teferi. The Takali Honor Guard wasn't just stopping the life gain aspects of the uh, from the Wild Rift Walker. Stopping the Explorer. Well. It was stopping the Explorer, meaning that those lands and the you know cycling through your deck to finding those cards. Yeah. There it is, two earth-shattering points from Larry the Archosport, making a thunderous entrance into the battlefield and I I would just pass. That is just that is just too intimidating to really I'm speechless. Definitely. Unless he suspects that perhaps there is a you know already a trebuchet in hand. So that's why he's stacking up the front row. But one thing he probably doesn't suspect is that there might be a lacerate coming in to really shut things down. But with a 14 point lead that's just gonna grow, I don't think that lacerate is really on the menu uh, at this moment right now. There's not many cards in Alessio's hand that can really grant him that immediate uh, you know fight back without committing something like Scrax. Mm. Oh, let's do it again! <laughs> what a day for a ball game. Let's play two. Let's play two. There's some top tier play right there. You want to protect the pony, but at the same time, that's telling the Legion, you know what? You also have the Chironex in hand. That's eight more damage that he has to take into account for this to, uh, you know, for factoring in for how much he wants to push, what he wants to commit. All three more brand charges. Here he is, my friend. Find that recliner. Let's just do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is the best part. I didn't know they go back that far. So they go back that far. Apparently and we like to do. take things to the extreme uh, over here. So as soon as we do the concussion protocol, we'll make sure that he's all okay. <laughs> Everything's all right over here at the uh, Wild Hunt Open. He just wanted to get really, really close to that wrestling belt. 